Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for this performance by the United States Army Band Chamber Players. My name is Sergeant First Class Meredith Rouse, and on behalf of our leader and commander, Colonel Andrew J. Esch, I'd like to welcome you to this concert we're calling The Light is the Same, celebrating music by women. We plan this show for March because it is Women's History Month, and for the past six years, Pershing Zone has been celebrated with a chamber music concert, highlighting female composers and performers. We'll open our program tonight with a piece that brought two pioneering American women together on a concert stage. Amy Beach was one of the most respected and performed composers of her time, and one of the first Americans to succeed without being trained in Europe. She wrote her romance for violin and piano, Opus 23, for Maud Powell, the virtuoso who concertized around the United States at a time when it was extremely rare for female violinists to have a performing career. The two women premiered the work together at the 1893 Women's Musical Congress. Here to play Amy Beach's Romance for Violin and Piano, please help me welcome pianist Staff Sergeant Nick Starr and violinist Sergeant First Class Annette Barger.
Our next piece is by Valerie Coleman, the founder and former member of the Grammy-nominated Woodwind Quintet, Imani Wins, and an assistant professor of performance, chamber music, and entrepreneurship at the University of Miami. The work was inspired by Maya Angelou's poem, Human Family, translated into Haitian Creole. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Valerie Coleman's Fani Imen, played by Staff Sergeant Nick Starr from flutist, I'm sorry, pianist Staff Sergeant Nick Starr and flutist Staff Sergeant James Miller.
Next, we'll feature a trio for flute, oboe, and piano by the multi-talented English violinist, pianist, singer, actress, and composer, Madeline Dring. Several of her chamber works, including this trio from 1968, were written for her husband, Roger Lord, who was an oboist with the London Symphony Orchestra. Here to play Madeline Dring's trio, please welcome flutist Staff Sergeant Carol Joe, oboist Staff Sergeant Janice Kim, and pianist Staff Sergeant Nick Starr.
The composer of our next selection is New York-based musician Carolyn Shaw, who at the age of 30 became the youngest recipient ever of the Pulitzer Prize for Music. Tonight, you'll hear her work for piano Gustave Le Gray, which was inspired by Chopin's Mazurka Op. 17 in A minor. And, as Carolyn Shaw describes the piece, it is a multi-layered portrait using some of Chopin's ingredients overlaid, overlaid and hinged together with my own. The title, Gustave Le Gray, is a nod to the innovative artist whom some believe to be the most important French photographer of the 19th century. And now, performing Gustave Le Gray, here is Staff Sergeant Nick Starr.
Thanks so much for joining us here tonight. We'd love to see you at another one of our Army Band performances. You can always find schedules and information on our website, usarmyband.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the US Army Band and on Facebook at the United States Army Band. Our final selection this evening is based on two Hindustani ragas, each of which has a very different aesthetic, but in reality are separated by only one note. Written by the Indian American composer Rena Ismail, she has this to say about the piece. I came across these wise words from the poet Rumi. He states so beautifully that even if our methods for searching for meaning and happiness look very different, the things we seek are so similar. Religions are many, but God is one. The lamps may be different, but the light is the same. Ladies and gentlemen, playing Rena Ismail's The Light is the Same, here is the U.S. Army Woodwind Quintet.
For joining us at Millennium Stage. For more information about our programs, please visit us online at kennedy-center.org or on Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy